Hey Genesis family, I hope that your uh, new year is off to a great start. I know that we're only a few days in, um, but I pray uh, that you are filled with hope and anticipation um, about what God is going to do in your life in this coming year. Um, and that's really the reason that we kick off every year with 21 days of prayer and fasting. It's just our attempt to refocus and reorient our lives around what God would want to do in our lives. And, and, and the purpose of prayer, and, and more specifically, the purpose of prayer and fasting is to really make space for God. Kind of the idea behind fasting is that we are giving up something that we need, um, specifically when it comes to fasting food in order to, to, to make space for something that we really need more, and that's spiritual nourishment. Um, we're sacrificing comfort in an attempt to, to focus ourselves on the things of God. And, and that's kind of been my experience over the years um, and kind of my prayer when fasting, specifically food, is that, God, when, when I feel hungry, when my body is telling me, I want to eat. I need substance. I need food. God, let me redirect that energy and acknowledge my spiritual need, that I'm spiritually hungry for you. And more than my physical body needs food, my spiritual body needs you, needs your power, needs a greater awareness of your presence. And, and really this year, just to be honest, um, that's kind of my, my focal point for the next 21 days and kind of my prayer really even going back to, to December was, God, I want to want more of you. I'm asking God to, to create a deeper spiritual hunger in me. I know for myself and probably for so many of you today, it's just so easy to get caught in a rut. And even if you have good routines and pretty good disciplines, it's still easy to get caught up in this cycle of just you're doing it you know, you read your chapter, you read your verses, your devotional plan, you, you spend time in prayer. Um, but sometimes we can get caught in this place where we're doing it to do it. Um, and, and there's not this deep sense of hunger. There's not this deep sense of focus. So I know for me personally, at the beginning of this 21 days, my prayer is, God, I, I want to hunger more for you. I don't want to just engage in devotional rhythms for the sake of doing them, but I want to meet with you. I want to receive from you. I want you to shape me and mold me into who you want me to be. So my encouragement to you over the next 21 days, and this is not about perfection. If you miss a day, if you break a fast, it's not like God's going to be mad, but I encourage you to participate with us on some level. And it's just about making space for God, making space for God to speak, for God to lead, to engage with God, to encounter God. And if you're um, doing the 21-day fast Bible reading plan with us, that was really the focal point of that chapter. I know there's some things in there that you're like, what? You know, it's kind of hard to understand without reading all of the book of Daniel and kind of understanding the, the cultural and historical context. But really the the overriding spiritual principle there was David had been fasting for 21 days and an angel shows up and says, God has heard your prayer. And, and, and that's really what fasting is all about is making space to hear from God, to encounter God and to receive God. And this morning, I just want to share uh, uh, in Jeremiah 33 and three, God speaks to the prophet Jeremiah and he says, call to me and I will answer you, and I will show you great and unsearchable things that you do not know. And that's really the focal point of prayer, is making space to hear from God, to, to call out to God, for God to show up in our lives, to show us things. I don't know about you, but sometimes I, just, I need to see things from God's perspective. I get overwhelmed with life from my perspective, and I need to see it from God's perspective. And that's what God's speaking here through the prophet Jeremiah that meet with me, come to me, um, call out to me, and I will answer you. I'll be there. I'm already there, but I'll be there, and I'll show you great and unsearchable things 
that you do not know. So my encouragement to you over the next 21 days is just find a way, whatever works for you, whether it's morning, whether it's uh, at your lunch, whether it's in the evening before you go to bed, find what works for you. Set a certain time, set a certain place, and then develop a certain plan and just make it your intention. And I'm going to meet with God. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to call out to him. I'm going to seek him and I'm going to expect to hear from God, to meet with God, to encounter God. We love you guys. We appreciate you. We're cheering you on and we thank you so much for engaging with us and participating with us over the next 21 days as we seek God individually and corporately for what he wants to do in our lives, what he wants to do in our church, and what he wants to do in our community.